Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Builder All Adventures. For this tutorial, we are going to show you how to add your Facebook pixel to a web page. You'd have to do it to every single web page you want it on. Uh, so to start, let's go to the Facebook Ads Manager, which is where you can get your pixel code. So over here, once you get to the Ads Manager, you might be on the Manager or the Editor. Click up here and go to Pixels. Right here, you'll see it says Set Up Pixel. There's a couple different ways you can get to this, uh, but Set Up Pixel will open up a box that asks you what you want to do. Most of the time, at least with uh, Builder All right now, we're going to manually install the code yourself. So go ahead and click on that. And it tells you, it has a little video here to help you. It tells you what to do. There's only two steps. Uh, well, there's more than two steps, but we're only going to really need two of them. Uh, so the first step is locate the header code for your website. Okay, so it says find the header tags in your web code or locate the header template in your web platform. Okay, so I will show you that. Um, real quick, we're going to go over these steps and then we'll actually do it. Step two is going to be to copy the entire pixel code and paste it into the website header that we just found. So right down here, you can see the code to copy. And step three, send traffic to your pixel. Basically, send traffic to that site, and then you'll start to see what's called pixel fires, which you can see in the background here, that show you every single time somebody goes to that web page. It'll tell you what it can about them, such as the refer URL, meaning where they came from, how they got to your site. Um, and you can set it up for a lot of other details, but for right now, we're just going to get it working on your page. Okay, so the first thing it says is locate the header code for your website. Okay, so we're going to go back into our editor. We're going to pick a site to add this to. I am going to go ahead and add it to uh, this one. Okay, once you're in the editor, the stuff for pixels and other scripts is going to be found up here in your layout stuff. Okay, so if you click on that, pick the layout you want to work with, and you'll see all your pages. You have a couple different places you can do stuff like this. One is this gear button right here. This is for your overall builder, all, or excuse me, your page, your overall layout. If you click on that, you'll see a couple things. The title, description, keywords, meta tags. Facebook pixel script. Okay, so there's a spot specifically for your Facebook pixel script, and this does what the other page says. It puts it in your header tags. Okay, if you have other analytic scripts like Google AdWords or some others, they go in here. And if you have other JavaScripts or uh, any types of scripts that aren't a pixel script or an analytic script, it will go in here. Again, this is kind of for the whole say the whole site. Uh, make sure if you add anything here that you click save down here and then also save your page here. You have to do both for that to take effect. Uh, the other option is you can pick a specific page. I'm gonna pick Pro Videos and do the gear there. And in here, you'll see that you also have page head scripts. So this doesn't affect the whole site, it only affects this page, but here's where you can put scripts as well. If you didn't want the pixel on all pages of your site and only on one, you could do it this way. Okay, again, make sure if you add anything here, that you save here and then here as well. So let's go and get our code and add it. I'm gonna add it to the overall site. So here's my Facebook pixel script area. We're gonna go back to Ads Manager where we have our pixel information and we're gonna copy the code. Okay, so it's right here. If you just click on this, it'll copy it to your clipboard. And we're gonna come back to our editor and we're going to paste. All right. You can see it there. Make sure we save. And then make sure we save up here as well. Save. Okay, I'll say I'll all changes were saved successfully. If we go back here, it takes time, kind of like propagation for new websites and DNS entries. It takes time for that to be active and for it to be seen. But usually within a few minutes, uh maybe an hour. As long as you've had some traffic go to the site where the pixel is located, you'll be able to start seeing that traffic. Uh, that is about it for setting up the pixel. Let me know if you guys have any questions about that. Uh, if I miss something that you'd like me to cover, let me know and I will do so. Thanks for watching. Have fun building.